Angela joins us now at 616 on this Wednesday night and uh, what? I mean, in the 70s, what to say? Yeah, and now we've got a line of storms heading our way. We do, and the good news right now, no watches, no warnings in terms of those storms. Yeah. 71 this afternoon. It's unbelievable. For February. Uh, and what's unbelievable, we're still close to 70, but Lafayette in the upper 30s. Oh, my oh, goodness. Wow. So this is, there's a line. There is a line, and this is a powerful storm system that we continue to track. It is 38 in Indianapolis, or in, in Lafayette. We're at 69 in Indianapolis, down from our new record for today, 71. We're still in the low 70s in Bloomington, Shelbyville, Bedford, and Columbus. Only 45 in Muncie, but 62 in Richmond. I want to show you a couple of cameras because we are tracking some rain. At times, this one in Vigo County shaking a little bit because of winds that are gusting near 40 miles per hour, and the rain has made it into Marion County. We are on the west side. This is live Doppler 13 radar showing the line of storms weakening. That's some good news. We're still dealing with heavy pockets of rain. Still the threat for some damaging winds, and we are picking up a little bit of lightning. This is a close-up view of Marion County. You can see the rain in Indiana south to Beach Grove, over toward Lawrence and Castleton, Meridian Hills and Broad Ripple, and then west side towards Speedway. Let's go south. I'm going to show you some of the pockets of heavier rain coming out of Sullivan County. Bloomfield in Green County, it's moving your way right now. Heavy rain stretches from Greencastle to Cloverdale, Spencer into Bloomington. This will track northeast, heads up Martinsville and Morgan County. It's moving your way. Heavy rain and again, a little bit of lightning associated with these cells from near the Frankfurt area, south to Lebanon, back west through Crawfordsville. Tipton heads up just a few minutes away from you. Heavy rain and a little bit of lightning. We're tracking north into Logansport, Monticello and Delphi, Rensselaer. You can see some heavy rain and again picking up some lightning. Those are the, the biggest threats at this point. Future Track 13 shows the rain and storms moving from west to east between now and 7, 8, 9 o'clock. By the time we reach 9 p.m., the rain and storms will be gone, the severe threat completely over, but the winds will still stay pretty gusty at times, gusting 30, 40 miles per hour, so we may see some damage and some power outages even overnight and as we head into our Thursday. Your Thursday forecast, the sunshine is back tomorrow. Temperature is going to be back into the 60s, but it is still going to be a breezy day. This time tomorrow, we're going to be tracking a temperature drop for everyone by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening down into the 40s after highs in the 60s for most of us. By 11 o'clock tomorrow night, we're down into the 30s. And first thing Friday morning, low temperatures in the 20s, but feeling like the high single digits or the teens, much colder air heads our way for the end of the work week. Your Friday forecast includes some sunshine, but high temperatures only 35 to 40 degrees. Rain and storms the next couple of hours. That severe threat diminishes by about 8 or 9 o'clock for most of us. 66 tomorrow afternoon, sunny and breezy. We fall into the 30s for highs on Friday. Light wintry mix early Saturday, but we end the weekend sunshine and 56 Sunday.